I want to take a look at two very useful plant identification apps. Both are user contribution interfaces. Picture this and Seek. Picture this is by far my favorite of the two apps. Picture this allows me to maintain my own garden and plants that I look at frequently. So for example, just to take a look at how the app actually works, I'm going to open Picture This. And here I can see all kinds of information about a given species of plant based on user input. You'll notice here I've scanned the Triangle Orac and the Lamb's Quarter, both recently. They are very similar plants, but they are not the same. So let's take a look at how the app works. When I'm using the app from my camera, I can focus on a plant, take a picture from within the app, and it'll scan. In this case, it identifies the Asiatic Dayflower. I can save that to my database and refer to it in the future. It gives me all kinds of information about the plant, and I can even add my own notes. So now let's take a look at Seek. It operates a little differently. It's more of a scanner. And so it's still using my camera, but as I hover over a plant, it'll identify its genus, family, species, etc., and identify the plant for me. So if I hover over the dayflower, again, it eventually identifies it as the Asiatic dayflower. And of course, I can add that information to my database as well. A strength of the Picture This app is that it allows me to open photographs from my photos and I can scan them and identify plants. This is excellent if I happen to be in an area where I do not have internet access. So I can take this picture of giant goldenrod that I took while I was on a hike and had no internet and I can identify it later within the app. Once I've positively identified a plant, I can save it to my garden. And now I can refer to this over and over again when exploring the flora around me that I visit the most frequently. Back inside Picture This, I'm going to scan a plant that's actually here in my lawn. And it's going to identify this as lamb's quarters. And it almost is. This is a part of the Amaranthiaceae family, and, uh, but this, in, this particular entrance is triangle. Uh, orac, uh, sometimes known as saltbush. And so I, I can correct that. I can actually go into the app. You'll notice the small edit icon in the upper right hand corner. I can click correct results and I can choose from another of options. When I simply type orac into the search and it's going to pull up saltbush. I'm going to select that one and it's going to give me a failed error. So I can go back and try again. Notice that when I scan, it shows me several options. I can scroll through those options to find the one that I think fits best in this triangle ORAC. So we'll put ORAC in the correction search dialog again. This time choose triangle ORAC and it will confirm the correction. Now as a contributor, I have helped to better identify scans in the future. So you see in this particular instance, we're looking at a member of the Amaranthiaceae family, and it is a goosefoot type of plant. They are both edible, and they're both very valuable medicinally. You'll notice this plant is what we commonly call lamb's quarter, has that goosefoot-like uh, leaf, and the uh, triangle orac does as well, but most of its leaves will develop into more lance-like leaves, as you see here. And so while, in fact, both of these are sometimes referred to as lamb's quarter, there are some distinct differences between the two plants. So let's jump back into Seek for another look. Now Seek allows me to also identify species that I've discovered. But as I scan over the turf or the flora, it's looking for characteristics and qualities that match the feedback that's been received from other users. So in this case, it's identifying the class as dicots, and we want to keep trying different positions of the camera over the leaves and the stem uh, to narrow that down to class and finally species. And so here we, we see it pings on that uh, ORAC uh, dicots. There's some sunflowers and daisies, actually some uh, asters in the background, so it's picking up on that, and uh, it will eventually uh, fall on that amaranth family. 
I particularly like how intuitive Seek is. Uh, for example, it's always recording my location. So once I've identified a species down to the species level, I can save that information. And that's one of my observations. Now I can go back into my observations and it gives me information that I can review later. For example, uh, I can identify the exact date when I last observed this or if there were other observations and other locations. I really like the range map because it shows me where I've observed a specific species within my foraging area. And it shows me other common species. So in a nutshell, that is my two favorite plant identification apps. Now keep in mind that no plant identification app should be your single source for positive plant ID. Never consume an edible plant or otherwise until you've positively identified it. And to do that, I refer to experts I use discussion forums, I use multiple apps, as well as well-written books that help me to positively identify plants before I consume them. And so those are two apps that I do use. I certainly hope you've gained enough information to help you decide whether or not these apps might be helpful for you. And again, these apps are called Picture This Identifier and Seek by iNaturalist.